Hey everyone, welcome back to another Counterside video. Today we're taking a look at Coffin 6 and when we might get her. But before that, if you wanted updated Counterside videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay guys, so before we proceed to Coffin 6, just a little reminder on the next couple of events that is happening this October. So October 6th, we're going to have the Summer Event Part 3. So make sure that you finish off Summer Event Part 2 so that you can go over this once this drops on Wednesday. And next would be a rerun of uh, Yen Xing, Lanchester's Banner. For those who haven't gotten her the last time, now is your chance. This has been a quick rerun versus the last time. And we also have another rerun of Karen Wong's Banner. Also rumored to be on October 6th. On October 13th, the week um, after this week, we're going to get episode 6 um, to be released for the main story. So this is going to be on October 13th. And here is what we are going to discuss. So we're going to have Coffin 6 released more or less on October 20th. This I cannot really promise this. This is just a, you know, this is just a crystal ball or a leak that it is going to be released on October 20 together with this event. So you have Team Maze Challenge Activity, Memories of the Labyrinth, and you have your uh, your counterpass, which is uh, Lyudmila, so featuring Lyudmila. And also Alex is going to be out as the SSR banner. If you haven't seen my review of both of them, um, I'll be posting a link up there so that you may check it out later. So let's proceed to what um, Coffin 6 looks like and how it's going to impact us in Southeast Asia. Okay guys, so for our upcoming ships, let's focus on Coffin 6. So Coffin 6 obviously is a SSR. It's an armored ship. So it's the best ship. Uh, it's the it's the best ship uh, for mech in KR right now. You will need to level Coffin to 100 before you're able to craft it. So there's a small ship that you start out with, that you started out with. If you forgot already, the name of that ship is Coffin. So you must level that ship up to 100 before you can build this one. So uses heavy covering as unique material so if you're into mech teams you have to save up heavy covering as the unique material for this ship okay passive of coffin six is increased attack and damage resistance of all mech allies by 15 percent when an enemy comes close to the ship summon a terrask um 20 second cooldown so different from abraham abraham actually gives healing this one is going to enhance the attack and damage resistance of all mechs. But this is going to be fun, guys. So, because honestly, you have other sources of healing which you can, you know, which you can get from. So, more or less, this is going to be your best ship for mechs. Next is going to be your skill. So, uses the energy of a black hole and increases attack and damage resistance of, of nearby mechs by 40%. <clears throat> For 10 seconds so again on top of the additional increase of 15% this skill also gives a increase of 40% for 10 seconds which is ridiculous it's at 55% ultimate for this um, ship is going to be uses the same the, the energy of the black hole to distort the space for 12 seconds enemies inside the black hole have their attack speed reduced by 20 their uh, uh, movement speed reduced by 40 and they take damage over time. Okay, I'm not sure how, how much um, of the damage over time they will take. But indeed, they will be taking debuffs um, for the ultimate. <clears throat> All deployed mech allies get 40% attack speed and accuracy. So each skill, so your special skill, your ultimate skill is going to give you a lot of buffs this one is going to give you 40 percent attack speed uh and accuracy i think would be your hit okay immediate impact on the meta so mech fans will love this ship because finally they won't insta lose when the enemy gets close to their abraham 
So this is a much tougher ship than Abraham. So definitely a must for mech teams. Um, mech teams, I am. I hope that they would focus more now on mech teams. We're going to give. A, we're going to actually. We got a lot of um, what do you call this backups or reinforcements ready for mech. But guys, we need more. Okay, we need more for mechs. Um, I've seen in some of the, some of the, the the mechs that they've released in KR that there's a hybrid between a soldier and a mech. So hopefully we can get that soon. Um, hybrids are pretty much what we're going to expect in the future. So hopefully we got, get better mechs. Recently we just got uh, got Janus. Then more or less we really need mech teams to have more reinforcements moving forward again mechs mechs are actually are kind of you know are kind of third in the hierarchy of between counters soldiers and mechs soldiers have a bit of a niche already in terms of how we play soldiers but for mechs we don't really have that niche that we have so more or less this is going to be a big improvement to all mech teams okay so future proofness still best mech team in kr and p um with the uh, pvp so more or less this ship is going to be here to stay so again save up guys for your heavy covering as you will need it to build this ship so is it worth building of course definitely if it gives these much buffs and debuffs, I'm sure that this ship, this one, if you're confused with what I'm, uh, you know, what I'm uh, pointing to, this ship is going to be here to stay for mech and um, mech teams. Um, hopefully, we could get this soon. Hopefully, the 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 crystal ball for for this one is actually right because I too am excited for mechs. Um, it provides the game more diversity in terms of um, which teams to bring. Probably today you'll bring mech, tomorrow you'll bring counter, you, the next day you'll bring soldier. So again, Coffin 6 is going to give you guys a big improvement for mech teams. PvP-wise, I'm not sure with PvE, but definitely a much-needed improvement moving forward. Okay, so anyway guys, if you have any comments on this uh, on this video or in this episode please put them down in the comment section below and also guys um if you've gone this far please um, um please do subscribe this helps my channel a lot and don't forget to click that bell icon and don't forget as well to put a like to this video thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here